Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today we have a toucan special for you, which is pickled partridge and pickled quails. So two rather similar pickled game birds here. I picked these up on my trip to Spain back in April. This is partridge escabeche, which is basically pickled. It's in a vinegar sauce with spices. Similar kind of idea to maybe things like roll mop herrings and ceviche and those sort of pickled meats. Although I think this is actually cooked rather than just cured in the vinegar. Anyway, let's have a look at the ingredients, starting with the partridge. So we've got partridge 67%, water 16%, vinegar 9.4%, extra virgin olive oil 4.7%, garlic, salt, and spices, which are pepper, clove, and bay. So quite a simple pickle, but it sounds tasty. And then for the quails. So we've got English ingredients here, so it's a bit easier for me. Two quails, wine, vinegar, virgin olive oil, garlic, bay leaf, salt, pepper, and peppercorns. And this one actually says serving suggestion, serve cold. I think this one actually says serve the meat in its sauce. So anyway, so pickled partridge, pickled quails. I'm expecting that these are gonna be quite similar, but let's open them up and have a look. I can't remember how much I paid for these. I think it was about four or five euros per can, so they're not super cheap, but actually also probably reasonably good value for a whole game bird. So there we go, that's the pickled partridge. Let's have a sniff. Hmm. Well, it smells, I mean, it smells like a lot of canned meats do, um, but anyway, you can see it's a whole bird in there trust with a little bit of string. I'm just gonna have a little taste of this vinegar sauce. That's actually really nice and not too vinegary. So anyway, let's see if we can get it out in one piece. So pickled whole partridge. I'm just gonna take a little piece of meat and give that a taste. Oops, got quite a big piece of meat. So pickled partridge, and you can see it's pink because it's kind of cured Let's have a taste. Mm, that's really nice. Nice and succulent, not too gamey, and yeah, really good flavor actually. I think the vinegar does somewhat mask the flavor of the partridge, but that's nice and tasty. Now the pickled quails, which I think is gonna be the same kind of deal. Now the reason I'm opening both of these together is I really think that they are sufficiently similar that it wouldn't warrant two separate episodes of weird stuff in a can for two such similar things. And also, I'm going to share these with Jenny for lunch. So between the two of us, I reckon we can probably eat three smallish birds. So similar look inside, although there's a thicker layer of oil on the top here than there was with this one. Let's have a sniff. Yeah, it smells slightly more fruity, but quite similar kind of idea. And there is one of the quail. They're kind of jammed in there. Wow, they're falling apart. They're so so tender. Okay, that didn't come out in one piece. That's the that's the legs. <laughs> that's the legs of the first one. Wow, super tender. And there's the second one. Down those the garlic cloves, garlic cloves, bay leaf. Okay, well, I can't really resist the temptation to taste a tiny drumstick. This one smells ever so slightly more spiced than the other one, but I imagine that's just the recipe. Let's give this a taste, so. Quite similar, I would say milder flavor. You can taste the wine in there, in that one. Really nice. So there we go, pickled quail and pickled partridge. Now I couldn't find any vast amounts of information about how this is normally served or what it's served with. So it might well be that this is just served in a little dish as a tapas or something like that. I don't know. So I'm gonna serve it with salad and bread. So I think we'll just get down to the kitchen now. We'll get a salad together and some nice bread and enjoy this as a light lunch. Okay, so pickled quails, pickled partridge, quite similar. Again, do you wanna use, use those tongs for the meat? So do you want a bit of the breast of this one? No, no, I'm all right. You want to try a bit of partridge? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's a different bird. Oh, I see. Oh, you've got yeah. the wishbone. Oh, I've got another one too. I have two. 
Okay. Day. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> right, Brad. I think I'm going to have some of this stuff because it's basically vinaigrette. I'm going to have some of that on my salad. Surprisingly, not vinegary. What mm. do you think? That's all right. Lots of small bones, so you have to be prepared to eat around the bones. So yeah, there we go. That is pickled partridge and pickled quails from Spain. That gets a seal of approval from us, I think. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely having that again. Perhaps I'll try and find a recipe so I can make this or something like it. Definite thumbs up from me. Just a final studio thought as I'm sitting down to edit this video that you're now watching. It does occur to me, probably the serve cold instruction on the can actually meant serve chilled because the leftovers from that meal, I put them in a small container and put them in the fridge with some of the sauce on top of them. And overnight it's set to a clear aspic like jelly, which I imagine might be how you're meant to serve this. So I might have completely missed the point here that maybe this is actually meant to be served in its cold jelly. As I say, my search for how this was meant to be served was kind of confounded. There's a lot of people talking about how to make it, but not so many examples of it actually being served. So if you've eaten this before, especially authentic versions, but perhaps if you've eaten the canned version, perhaps you'd let me know in the comments. Am I meant to serve this chilled out of the can with the sauce as a jelly, or is the sauce meant to be liquid as we saw earlier in the video? Anyway, back to the table just for the wrap up. Not a lot of difference in flavor between the two, although the quail was more tender, slightly sort of softer meat and slightly darker. The partridge, a lighter meat, a little bit firmer, a bit more like chicken. The sauce that that was in, basically spice vinegar and oil. Really tasty for dipping bread in. So, pickled partridge and pickled quail. Weird stuff in a can on atomic shrimp. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.